What's up everybody? It is Matt from Electric All Wheel and today we have the Electric Express 750 watt rear hub on the 27.5 diameter wheels. We like this bike, however, the handlebars are something that I just can't really tolerate over a long ride. It puts me in a position like this and my shoulders feel very scrunched. So today we are going to switch out the handlebars. We have some with a less graduated angle towards the rider and it will help me keep my fist out and allow me to have my shoulders broaden. We are also going to be installing the electric all-wheel thumb throttle on this bike. This has the horizontal thumb throttle and I'm not a big fan of that. I like the vertical thumb throttle so we're going to go ahead and swap that out and then we are going to add a bike case suspension seat post. This is the 31.8 millimeter seat post for the Express. So we're gonna get a 31.8 millimeter shim, which comes with the 27.2 millimeter bike case suspension seat post. And then we're gonna put a cloud nine seat on that. We will leave links for all the products in the description below. We really appreciate your support helping us move forward with electric all wheels so we can continue these videos. So. We'll link those down in the description below. If you haven't already, give us a like and subscribe on YouTube. It is our primary. And if you're in the area, check out eBikes of Tampa Bay, Florida. Get in that Facebook group. You've got to make an event so that you can go for a ride with your eBike friends. Let's get to it. Okay, this should be a relatively painless uh, swap. But what I'm going to do right now is remove all of everything off of the handles and then take off the display. I will loosen the stem and then work the handlebars out, replace that with the new one, bring everything back on except for the horizontal throttle. I'll replace that with the vertical thumb throttle. And then we recognize that there will be minimal extra space here on the right hand side. So we must be conscious of that. So we'll top them here so that everything fits and then utilize the adjustment capabilities of the stem that come with the bike for the refinement. Don't forget your cap is on the end, so don't lose that. So make sure that you don't back off these screws so much that they fall out. You definitely wanna make sure that they stay with the bike. And then you may end up having to take some of this loose. What I'm going to do is leave this tied together for a moment, loosen up everything and see if I can get it all off in one shot. The screw for this actually points down onto the housing of the horizontal thumb throttle. It is right here and it does have a torque measurement of one Newton meter. So keep that in mind. The gear adjustment or the shifter so it's actually a screw right here on the bottom so you'll want to acknowledge that I like to use the flathead because it's less prone to strip but it's a little more difficult to drive it off so keep that in mind when you do this Now I'm just taking it off in a package and the re reason I'm bringing them all off at one time is so that I can keep the wraps on there. And then you have these two screws. Now remember, back this up because the nut will fall out of this when you're taking this off. So make sure you don't lose that, especially if you work in shell like me. And then our display adjustments, paths, settings adjustments, interface, whatever they're calling this now. 
and that's that. All right, we are free and clear. I'm gonna make sure that my headset or my stem is loose, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and work this baby out of here. There we go. Whew, man alive. I don't know why Electric chose these, but these do not work for a broad-shouldered fellow. And this is the difference that we're, we're going to be going for. I just need to be able to get my shoulders in between my, my hand spacing. So here I'm loosening this up a little bit. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just putting this in there to wedge it out just a little bit. It's pretty tight in there, so I'm just making sure that everything will fit, and it does. Now I'm going to tighten this back up. Perfect. Be cautious, maybe loosen this up before or wedge that thing open so that it pries apart just a little bit because it will scratch, obviously. I'm going to go ahead and get my display back on. Make sure that your cables aren't bound. When you're plugging these back in, just look for the imprinted arrows on the face of these things. And you just line up the head of the arrows, the points, and make them point at one another. And take my screw and nut. The nut goes on basically the front side of the bike or underneath, so I'm going to put that in. So I'm not going to tighten it up all the way because I want to be able to see what my adjustments are going to need to be when I get this on here. All right, I'm going to grab my right hand side, slip that on. the brake on. I'm just going to leave this off because I am going to change that out. I'm going to grab my left hand brake handle. I'll move that in. And I'm going to take my electric all-wheel kit and I'm going to grab out the throttle. Uh, with this setup, it does come with extra grips, but we're going to use the factory grip. So I'm going to put the throttle side on the inside to the rider. I'm going to slip our grip back on. Check spacing off the end for the grip. Put the cap in. and then feel it. So when your hand is on the handlebars, you want a comfortable resting position for your thumb when you bring it out to the side. So think about that before you tighten it down. Keep in mind that the screw for this thing is right here. It's on the underside, so you're going to need the right tool to get in there. So a hex head wrench. And then rotate it to where you want it, where it's a nice, comfortable rest, and it doesn't jack up your thumb so it's holding it up, and that will cramp it. Next thing you'll want to do is once you get that set, you're going to do throttle and your grip, and then you're going to wait because you're going to need to roll your brake around so that you can get to your gear shifter. And you can reach up in between there, so keep that in mind, but it's a, it's a tight fit, so just bear with it. I would leave the brake handle loose until you've got all this set up and then just tighten them up together. This is thumb throttle.
down the grips. There we go. So we're all in on that. Now I'm going to bring this around. I'm going to undo this wrap. I'm going to unplug this horizontal throttle. And you can see that they have the same style three pin uh, connector. This cable is a little bit longer because it's meant for a variety of electric bikes. So remember, line up your arrowheads, point them at one another, and get them in. What I do is I take a loop and I just bring it back on itself, and then I put that within the wrap when I put the wrap back on the bike. Let's get over here to our left-hand side. Now we're going to make sure that our brake handles are uniform as well. So think about that, same height. You just want to make sure that the feel is the same. Before you put this back on, you'll want to make sure you have the correct depth. Uh, I think I just innately did that because I've done it so many times, but make sure you measure and that this fits all the way to the end. Your handle fits all the way to the end and then tighten down your brake handle. So I'm just tightening up this display adjustment for pads and power. On there. And then don't forget your display. Tighten that down. Tilt this back, give it up, put it in pass one, and there's our thumb throttle working. That is good. All right, we have our Cloud9 seat, and then we are going to add this bike case suspension seat post. Remember that you need the shim, which comes on here. You'll just fit that into the seat post of the bike, and that will accommodate for the difference in size. This goes towards the rear, so it'll sit like this. Keep that in mind. What I'd like to do is loosen these up just enough and then hopefully I'll just be able to sit it on and then tighten it up without much of a problem. If you have to take these off completely, do so and then put the plates, these inner plates inside, put the post in between them and then squeeze them together and it should sit because of the tension between these two bars. Just making sure that it clamps onto the rails of the seat itself. And before I tighten it down, I'm just going to look for something somewhat normal. That looks pretty good right there. Maybe one or two clicks back. So I've got that. And then I'll go ahead and tighten them down. The rest of it, I'll make the adjustments with the seat on the bike. and then give it its final tightening once that's done. I know some of you had a problem with this when we did the dual battery install. This does have the 40 amp batter, dual battery kit installed on it. And just so you know, this can go inside. We did test that in the video, so check out that video if you're curious about it. That's what's in this bag. The second battery we have here on the down tube of the frame and we like it a lot. A lot of people don't like it because they conceive the step through is very crucial to them. So there are other ways of going about this, especially if you have a rear rack. So 10 and a half to 14 and a half, and then the depth of the post uh, right up to the suspension portion is nine and a half inches. And then and 
and then you need three inches at minimum. Uh, I would probably say three and a half inches at minimum on the insert, so there's no problem. So I'm going to take my 31.8, 27.2 shim. Go ahead and sit that in there. That in. Tighten it down. Give my seat a feel. Perfect. Well, there you have it. We have successfully installed a straighter set of handlebars so I can actually breathe when I'm riding and I'm not like this. We do like it and we did get the vertical thumb throttle onto the Electric Express 750 as well as our bike case suspension seat post. Now, if you guys do dual battery install like we are a proponent of, then you will definitely want a suspension seat post, especially on these hardtail bikes. It makes a world of difference. You can thank me later. And yes, I know the C9 has its own suspension, but that bike case suspension seat post is a game changer. And I believe that the electric community will back me in saying so. So check that out. We will leave links to all the products that we've used here in the description below. And we really thank you guys for supporting electric all wheel through this e-bike adventure. If you haven't already, give us a like and subscribe on YouTube. It is our primary. And if you're in the area, check out e-bikes of Tampa Bay, Florida. Listen, you got to get in the group, make an event if you want to go for a ride with your e-bike friends. We'll talk to you next time.